Welcome to the 2022 Wheelchair Comparison, brought to you by the Christopher and Dana Reeve Foundation and Gold Pictures. We're going to show the features of each chair individually and then compare them all in the final episode. So stay tuned. As a bonus, we're going to compare two new devices, brand new to the market, that will help people maximize their mobility. Any individual who is dealing with deficits in strength, endurance, or balance, folks with multiple sclerosis, Parkinson's disease, those that have had a spinal cord injury and it's an incomplete injury, so they still have some use of the musculature of their lower body and are able to do a little bit of walking, this can certainly help that individual. Um, I liked how it kind of kept my hips forward as well. I didn't feel like, you know, usually a lot of times I feel like I have a fear of falling back, but I didn't have that fear because obviously the seat's there and then I also had the handles uh, in front of me. so that maybe not be afraid of falling forward either. The Zine is what I like to call the happy marriage between a walker and a wheelchair. We have a seat belt that you fasten and between the seat belt and the bicycle type design of the seat is gonna to help to keep me centered, keep me with the device and help to prevent falls. The seat provides lifting assistance to move from sitting to standing. I have handlebars that can flip forward as well. And then once I snug the seatbelt up, should I lose my balance, lose my footing, anything at all, the seat, the zine is helping to support me. When I'm walking, the seat stays with me. So it's providing me some assistance right where my weakness or balance deficits are happening. So rather than having to put a lot of weight through my upper body on a walker, I'm getting support where I need it. I can sit at any level. So if everyone is standing around and chit chatting and I get tired, but I want to remain engaged, I don't want to sit down. I can sit myself right back, make myself comfortable. I'm still at my own eye level. I can get these handlebars out of the way as well. And now I'm in what we affectionately refer to as barstool mode. You've got your own personal barstool here. When I want to come down from barstool mode, I simply slide forward. My feet are, this is my normal standing height. So I'm not hopping down off of anything. I, again, will squeeze the levers and I can stop anywhere in between my full standing height and full seated. So if it's an odd height table, I can position myself appropriately for that. Um, when I'm moving with the zine, when I'm at my full standing height, I can walk normally. So I'm getting some support, but more of my weight is going through my legs. I can also sit myself back on it a little bit. And now I can do more coasting or gliding or zening, as we like to call it, and really cover a lot more ground with a lot less effort. I didn't have to worry about getting tired, because I knew I could sit down if I wanted to and still keep moving. Smooth, like he's smooth, like he's taking his steps and he's not pausing to take his steps. And his feet, That's true. And his feet are underneath him. Even as I continued to walk with it, I felt like it was getting better and better and better, you know? So uh, I did like that about the zine. Um, and also I used it to go to the bathroom and I was wondering maneuverability wise if it was going to be able to fit in the bathroom very well or not and it did. It, it, I got around pretty easy and I was able to use the bathroom and wash my hands and then turn it all the way around and get out even into a small um, you know, residential bathroom so uh, that, that, that was great. Being able to walk further, stay out longer is going to help promote just overall cardiovascular health. Doing simple sit to stand exercises. So if I squeeze the levers here, that's releasing it so that I can go up and down. And now just doing this motion, yes, the seat is providing me with assistance, but my legs are still doing a lot of the work. And as a physical therapist, strengthening the quads, so the front side of the thighs and the gluteal muscles, your backside, those are some of the largest muscles groups in the body and are instrumental in getting you up and down from a chair and very, very important in your balance and ability to walk. 
it has a lift on there. So it make, definitely makes it easier to stand. I'm 5'2", so it can go significantly higher than this, can support someone that's usually up to about 6'3", six, 6'4", six, and as short as about 4'11". What a difference. This, this is modern. This is good. You have something to hang on to. You don't have to look down. Uh, it's not hard on your back. You can sit. You don't have to stop. Put the seat down, turn around, and sit down on a walker. And it does turn very easily. Everything about it is just new, modern, and very efficient. And to fold it, it will fold most compact with the seat all the way down. So I squeeze the levers on the armrests, sit down to the full seated mode. I'm going to disconnect my seatbelt. And when we're folding, we, su we suggest flipping the seatbelt right over the back so that it stays out of the way. The handlebars fold in, we pull the first one back. There's a red handle here on the back side of the zine that I pull that up and that releases the back frame. The red handle here on the side of the seat, that lifts up and now I can fold my other handlebar in as well. And I just keep pulling those two pieces together and it slides all the way closed. When it's folded in this position, it's about 11 inches wide. The weight of the zine is just over 40 pounds. It should replace walkers. It's safer, it's more comfortable, and like I said, it folds up beautifully. If someone is interested in ordering a zine, currently all of our orders are being placed directly through our website, which is gozine.com. Production just started um, early May of this year, 2022. All of our assembly is happening in our office in Westchester, Pennsylvania. This is a great new invention. I was relaxed because I knew that I don't have to worry about being tired. I got to pull off to the side or I got to sit there and wait for someone to come and get me. I was able to sit and rest for a minute. Garrett Brown is our inventor. He, many years ago, was the inventor of the Steadicam, which has been used in numerous movies. And he took that same technology of lifting heavy camera equipment and then ultimately he decided, I'm going to lift a person instead and make it easier for them to be moving around. I can't think of anything else that would be better for me right now. So I hope other people get to enjoy it as much as I did. The Wheelchair Comparison Web Series, brought to you by the Christopher and Dana Reeve Foundation and Gold Pictures.